So you learn how to code, you got a portfolio, you got a resume, and now you're applying to jobs. And guess what? They called you up. Yes, <laughs> it's your turn now. Now you have to actually go in and convince this company that you are the one, you are Neo, and that you deserve this job. But how do you prepare for that interview? Well, very simple. I'm about to give you guys a way for you guys to go in and create a custom prep guide for every type of position that you want to apply. So yeah, if you're interested in that, watch this whole video. Let's get started. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, the one and only, and I done did it one more time, guys. So let me go in and actually show you guys. This is a real position. It's a Shopify backend developer here in the US. It's for $120,000 to $160,000 per year. It's a remote position. It's with this company called Anata Designs, okay? So for those of you guys that's interested in Shopify, guess what? This is a great position. And again, it's remote. All right. Now, again, it's on indeed.com. It's a lot of information in here, right? They're looking for TypeScript, Node.js, Shopify Plus, uh, public or custom Shopify apps experience, right? All of these things are good to have for this position. Now, let's say we apply to it and they gave us a call and they said, hey, we want to go and set up an interview for this specific date, right? And now we're nervous. We're like, oh my God, what do I do? What should I practice? What should I talk about? You know? all of those things well it's very simple i have for you guys here an interview prep prompt that i created myself for you guys here so you guys can use it y'all can take it 100 for free right and literally go in and use it with chat gpt5 and the reason why i recommend chat gpt5 is because it has those web features where i can actually go in do research for you and go through different sites and from there, come up with the right information that you're gonna need for this job position. So it's very simple. All you will have to do is copy the text, okay? And you're gonna come into ChatGPT, paste it in here, and in here, just fill in the blank. I made it very simple for you guys. Just copy the title, go into the company name, which is this one, another design. Just copy the name of the company, and then from there, you're gonna come in here and actually paste the job listing itself. Don't paste the link. Sometimes it can't scrape everything. So what you want to do is you want to come in and pretty much just copy the full description of the job. So copy all of this. Okay. And then from there, paste this in. And then the last thing is, let's say you found the official website of the company, right? And maybe you want to go in and actually paste it in this could work for like smaller companies, like smaller agencies or, you know, just small brands that might not be as big as something like, I don't know, Nike or Google or Netflix, right? Like chat GPT will figure it out on its own. If you say, Hey, I'm, I'm applying to Netflix, like they'll figure that out on its own. But sometimes you might want to put in some relevant links in here just to get better, you know, results. So we're going to stop right here. And then from there, we're going to press enter and we're giving it this full prompt with the full job description. And here we go. Okay. So we got a company overview, recent highlights. So this is important for when you're trying to do research on what the company is, what do they do, right? And here you will find more information about them and maybe some recent news that they have, right? So look at this. A Shopify Platinum Partner as of January 2025. So they seem to work with a lot of Shopify stores. So this is why they're getting this and, and they're doing great work. So this is something that you want to think about when you're going into the interview. From there, you have the key skills and knowledge areas to focus on. So these are the technical skills that the job requires. So we have TypeScript, object oriented programming, API, Shopify Plus, custom app development, SQL databases, uh, version control, right? So these are the things that you're like, okay, I got to check this things off. I know I have this and I'm good to go. Then from there, the next step will be sample interview questions. So in here, you might have something like, uh, tell me about a time you had to quickly deliver a technically complex solution under a tight deadline. So remember, this is like an agency. Uh, there's a lot of deadlines when it comes to agency. So there could be a project that is supposed to be done by Black Friday and it needs to be done by that time, right? So there's no if or but, it's like, hey, this is the time that needs to get done. 
especially when you're working with e-commerce. So again, it's going into the type of job that you're going for and the industry. And then not only that, it also gives you a sample answer. Right. So, for example, it will say, hey, in a previous role, I had to implement a subscription based checkout integration within two weeks. I scoped the requirement, reuse existing services, use Shopify webhook and order API, so on and so on. Right now, of course, you're going to take this and make it in your own voice. The goal for this is to give you some example questions that you might have in this type of job connected to this industry in this company and that way you're not going to get caught off guard when they ask you something similar to this okay now from there we're going to continue we have the technical deep dive so you have things like explain how you will build a custom shopify app design a rest or graph endpoint to fetch order data for front end consumption including filtering and pagination so this is some of the stuff that they will ask you as far as the technical deep dive and for that position now guys i want to let you guys know that yes we have a 50 percent off right now for the summer sale on codingphase.com if you been wanting to to learn how to code if you've been wanting to get into the tech industry you want to get a job you need to focus on the entry-level job positions this is what we focus on on codingphase.com we find opportunities for new developers to be able to get in and even for experienced developers who are having a problem to get their second job the third job we come in and we help you out with your portfolio your projects right we teach you the courses pretty much we we hold your hand through the whole process all right literally dirt cheap especially with a 50 percent off right you get the group coaching all the courses everything that comes with coding phase literally for a dollar fifty a day if you decide to sign up for a monthly subscription and you get all of this for 50 cents a day if you sign up for the yearly subscription now guys i can't go any cheaper than that all right you gotta get a great deal it's the summer sale take advantage now let's continue um you also have pre-interview research checklist so we're giving you a checklist right or chat gpt is giving you a checklist of things that you should do like review anata's website right inspect the shopify platinum partner page you also have key clients and outcomes like who are the clients that they're working with right Pay attention to those things because you're probably going to be working in some of those websites. Be familiar with their team model. Understand Shopify Plus capabilities. Like, pay attention to that. Prepare examples from your past work. So now it's laying it out for you. Like, hey, if you have a GitHub project or you have a project online, like an online store that's using some of the services that you created, maybe a, a previous client, maybe a previous employer, like have that ready so if you have to go in and talk about it and even show it to them it's easily you know at arm's reach you get what i'm saying so again you also have suggested coding challenges and portfolio projects things that you might want to go in and add to your portfolio for this type of position right tips to stand out speak confidently this is important guys okay even chat gbt is telling you hey man speak confidently understand that you're the one you neo you here for a reason you know once you already got into the point where they're giving you an interview always remember this you are part of the chosen ones there's thousands of people who don't even get a call the moment you get an interview it validates your skills right it literally does because you've gone through multiple filters and now you're one of the candidates that they are considering so keep that energy come in with that energy don't feel like man i gotta look down i gotta be scared of the camera i gotta be scared of talking to somebody go in there confident i know it is you know some issues that we all go through we all have a little anxiety the little butterflies in our stomach that's normal but just know you the shit like when you go in there go with your head high you know what i mean <laughs> keep your head high you got this you already got chosen Okay, there's thousands of people out here still losing, <laughs> you know, their time applying to jobs and they don't even get a call. So if you got a call, make the best of it. Okay, so again, going there confident, right? And of course, enterprise skills constraints emphasize on your collaborative style, right? Companies always want to know if you could work in a team. Okay, no one wants to deal with somebody that is an introvert. I mean, and just want to be in a corner and doesn't want to talk and, and collaborate. Doesn't want to really, you know, speak up when there's an issue. 
you know what I'm saying? People want to have someone that that could, you know, could be a good teammate, okay? And, and, and get the work done because that's how development is done. Uh, another thing that you have in here is questions to ask the interviewer. You know, a lot of times we forget about this, right? And uh, the cool thing about this by ChatGPT going in, doing the research on the company, doing research on the job position, doing research on the job description and the listing, right? Guess what? It comes up with some really good questions. For example, how does the backend team collaborate with strategists, designers, and front-end engineers in embedded project teams, okay? Can you share an example of a technical obstacle your team faced recently on a Shopify Plus and how it was resolved? What expectations do you have for your backend developers when it comes to documenting and sharing technical decisions, right? How does it not support ongoing learning experimentation with emerging backend or Shopify technologies? These are great questions, right? Now, again, you don't have to go in and memorize this. You just have to go in and be like, oh, this is what I want to go in and ask. Because when you're at there at the moment, you're not going to remember all of this. What you're going to remember is, oh, how does the backend team co collaborate with the designers and other front end developers, right? I just made it into plain English. Okay. That's how you're going to say it. Right? This right here is it's what I call office jargon. It's like office banter. It's like some people have that gift to just talk like that in the office. I might not have it. I'm, I'm a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go in there. Of course, I'm going to speak proper, but I'm not going to talk to you like exactly how Chad GPT talks. Like that's not to me. That's not normal talk. All right. That. <laughs> Especially when you're under pressure. Okay. So all you have to do is think of this as bullet points, right? So as you can see, we basically got the company's background and any news about the company. We got the key skills to focus on. We got some interview and questions and answers samples, right? We got some pre-interview research checklists, some coding challenges and portfolio ideas, tips to stand out and questions to ask them. Okay. Now, one thing that you can also do, let's say, for example, you want to get more interview questions and samples. You could go in and now chat with ChatGPT, go back and forth and say, hey, give me some more interview questions. OK, so I could go in and say, give me five more Q&A samples just like the ones you gave me. OK, so now it already has the context of everything that has to do with this job, this company, and you could go in and ask as many questions as you want to chat GPT and, and it will go in and, and, and do it for you. Right. And give you the answers and, and give you even more tips. And yeah, sky's the limit after that. All right. So hopefully you guys got some value out of this. You guys enjoy this video. See how I go in and use chat GPT for preparing for interviews. And yeah, man, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Show me some love, man. I need some love. Show me love. You get what I'm saying? Why not? Okay. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. Hey, you want to see my videos? Hit the notification bell. Hey, you like this video? Leave something in the comment section. I want to see it. Okay. It was good. It was bad. I hate this guy. Whatever it is, leaves something. Okay. Show some love though. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, like I said, go check out the links in the description, guys. 50% off on codingphase.com, the profitable developer course, everything that we have 50% off right on the link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.